Hello everybody, welcome. We are in an amazing place, a place that you will absolutely love. It's glorious and it's slap bang in the middle of Stanley. I'm here with a man whose name is Norman, but for tonight's purposes, I'm Norman, because we've got all kinds of stuff in here. Stanley Masonic Hall, glorious building, amazing history, goes back obviously uh, prior to World War II and during the World War, that we'll tell them everything that, that was happening here. But we want to ask you, because you know this place, you've been here for 23 years, which is incredible. What kind of stuff have you seen here? It's not just seeing things, it's hearing things. Right. Um, when, when I first experienced uh, what was going on, we used to go looking for it, I don't bother now. Right. Um, I have seen a human form walk through a door. Right. Um, we've had the organ upstairs playing by itself, not even plugged in, but playing. Right. Um, I, I was, I, but there's, uh, somebody throws marbles at you. Marbles? Mm -hmm, in the main hall. <laughs> it's, uh, people, you get tapped on the shoulder. Right. Hair pulled. Uh-huh. It's just, and the first time it happened, though, you're in here, mm -hmm. obviously more often for business than for anything else. Yeah. And I know obviously you've got a club here where you can meet and hang out and all of that. Yeah. But more often than not, you're here to do business. What was the very first thing that happened to you then that made you think, oh, hang on, there's something going on here? It was probably the noise. Right. The, the loud banging from upstairs. Right. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, I, I learned after that that certain members won't go upstairs by themselves. Right. They've got to have somebody with them. Right. And it's never bothered you? you... Well, I'm here seven days a week and it, you get used to it. You become immune after yeah, a while. Yeah. I'm sure that that's the case. And perhaps I think I've probably been accepted. Right. right. It's a fixed different fitting, you know. Sure. Um, the history of the building, how far back does it go? 1926. Right. It was this the Porritt family. Not that I know of. No, because no. I've been I've read some history about how uh, an industrialist called Porritt, um, who opened the Open Show Brewery, was attached. I to don't. This I've never heard the name. It's certainly not on the coronation it's not on board. The coronation wall. Right. No. Okay. Interesting. But with respect to during the Second World War, what was this place used for? Because Masonic Hall. It was still a Masonic Hall. Yeah, right it was the still way a through. practicing Masonic Hall. Right. Brilliant all the way through. Uh, we also know that uh, Freemasonry following World War II, there was a massive clawing of people to try and join the Freemasons. Yeah. Uh, an outpouring, so there was queues of people literally applying. Uh, what's the state of play now? Is it as popular as ever? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Definitely not. Why not? Um, I think it's, um, well, I, I, I don't really know. When I joined, there'd be about about ninety to hundred members in Coronation Lodge. Right. Now we've only got forty. Right. Right. Although we have had an influx of uh, younger, younger blokes. Members. Right. Um, which is which is promising for us, but a lot of the other lodges are just why well, they're closing. I don't. I don't even understand it because it's always been such a part of the establishment, and obviously the royal. Families still mm -hmm. have massive links yes, with yeah. Freemasons. We're coming up with a coronation. I would have thought the two things would have created a little bit of a ripple in the pool. Would it? It no, seems. no. It, it's, uh, I mean, the, the province and the United Grand Lodge are, are going on a massive recruitment drive, right. trying to get people to come and join. Right, right. Um, There's it, probably a stigma about, oh, secret society and all that. And, you know, yeah. So you haven't drunk any blood today? And no, no. But, but there's I'm, still time, it's early. And I've got to take the goat for a walk later on, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but thank you very much for yeah. letting us come yeah. down, Norman. Bless yeah. you, man. And I know you're you're going to be hanging around in here, so Kenny and I are going to do, yeah, do everything else. Do what you want, access all areas. And if we'll, you, we'll, if you've we'll, got a question, come, just come bless back you. and see. Well, I'll absolutely yep. do that. Norman, thank you very much again. No problem at all. Enjoy your coke and... Leave the rest of us. Thank yep, you very much. No problem. See, told you it was great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tremendous. We'll do a start outside, then we'll get cracking. Thanks again, Norman. Well, well, Cheers, man. <laughs> you do. <laughs> we probably won't want one by the time we're finished. 
Now, an amazing building. The outside of the building is tremendous too. It's got the, uh, all of the, the articles of uh, Freemasonry on the outside of the building, the star and the cross and everything connected to it. You can't miss that this is a Masonic building. And yet we've heard that in pretty much every room around here, things have been happening. If you come along here, and yes, we've got loos and a few doors that we can't get in. In here, people have seen things and people have actually been in the backyard of this place, which you can see through there. Did you hear that? Just been a bang on my left hand side. Play that back and you'll hear it. It's a... Now, I don't know what you're defending yourself from, but that's a... That's a serious weapon. Well, that'll be Kenny coming out. So people have seen things in the toilet. Through the courtyard, people walking across the courtyard have seen people literally in the kitchen area. If we need the torches, Kenny, yeah. what, what we'll do is we'll go back in for them. Okay. You're leaving one of them on each table. Yeah. And supernatural Ted. Now, you might think this is the main room and an amazing balcony up the top. I think, Kenny, we'll... Uh, let's get the torches as well. Let's get the torches as well. Please. Okay. Yeah, just help yourself, though. Just dive straight in the case. It's not switched on, so we're not going to play it. That's good. Right. <laughs> Two torches. I just think that it's going to get darker. And I'd love to see. Oh, you saw flickering? Yeah, so like you know on the move. So. Right, and also this 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 amazing balcony up here. Let's have a let's have a walk up. See how far we can get. Just bank me, yeah, bank me, you can walk on this. This is quite something. And this isn't even the biggest room. It's certainly not the most spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing balcony though, beautiful. From the other side, <laughs> not when you've put all your. I'll be careful coming down yet, Tony, as well. Kenwin. Kenwin shining. Shining is light. Now, of course, Stanley, the original name, thanks to. Thanks, um, The original name for Stanley is uh, Stone Lay which means stony area, stony patch of land. And that's where we are. And Kenny, the love, you know the Love Shack? Sing it. Love Shack, it's a little old place where we can get together. Yep. You know it? Yeah. Well, the Love Shack in Stanley in 2003 was a sex club where people, apparently it was going to be built and it was said that people could just go there and have sex with anybody that they saw. Right. And it was an open sex club. And everybody in Stanley went, played hell, and eventually stopped that. So they opened it and they had a shop called The Local Spa, which was a swingers club instead. And I was just thinking, my local spa is where I get a pint of milk <laughs> and a loaf yeah. of bread. Yeah. And can you imagine walking in there and suggested the same kind of thing? Oh, you know I'd be to buy a swing in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Mind you, I do say, once I went to Cologne in, in Germany, and my brother-in-law lived nearby, German lad, and while I was about 15, I was in the city centre, and he said, there's a building there, and you can go and get your passport stamped. And I thought, random. And when I went in, it was a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And 
I get to the counter and he's had a word with a girl behind the counter and she said, well, come here and have a look at the book. Have you got your passport? And I said, yeah, I've got my passport. And she said, here's all of the girls. Which one, which one would you like? And they all had different rooms and you got like a little pass and you went in and the pass opened the, opened it. And I was 15 and beetroot faced and ah. But that's, that's why I would never walk into the local spa either. It's amazing. That, that big telescope. Yeah, is that that concert way? I have no idea. Well, that's Pincher on the on this one here. That's a folly. Beamish. And I don't recognise that bridge, but they're all obviously local landmarks. So that's a statue that we've seen at the coast, if you remember. Beautiful. They're just memories of the north. But people have seen and heard things in here. This is one of the places where apparently marbles get lobbed at you. We will see if that happens. There's the king, King Charles, the man I had an interview with and ended up turning down, never thinking he was going to be king. And now he's a king and I could have had an interview. But I had to, had to give him all the questions and I refused. Because that's just cheeky, isn't it? Um, come on, supernatural terror. If there's anything in here... We've set a trap or two. Is that something that moves? No. Um, we'll give you a guided tour and then we're going to separate and do various things. Lots of stories about Stanley and Stanley folk that I can tell you about. Uh, but the places that are most haunted, we've mentioned the kitchen. Oh, what is in there? Is that another room? So we didn't come in there. So let's, oh, let's check them out then. It's just like a little small bar, staff only in there. He did say open, but it, he says everywhere's open except the locked ones. Yeah. Right. What, did you say something there? Oh, I didn't, I missed something. Where, where? No, when you put the torch up at the top. Oh, I didn't. Really missed it. Damn. I'd, I'd, uh, it might have just been my imagination. It was the. Uh, I thought the thing was moving the chandelier. Oh, don't say that. Well. Right, that's what we're here for. Let's hope we get something. Let's have a look upstairs and then we'll start segregating and looking for stuff. Walk in there and take a deep breath. No, oh. I don't need to. I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's, it's a human bodily function. Nobody can help. Somebody, somebody was, somebody was, did you hear some knocking? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, just there. But what was it? It can't be the banister, Ken. I don't, I don't know. It was like there. Is it the stairs? Ah, it's the stairs. Yeah, there, again. That was a different knock. Go, go is it that? Is it that? No. No. No, no, no. Was there a stair there that's creaking? Yeah, no, it was a knock. Coronation Lodge. Okay. Members who made the supreme sacrifice. No, this is the bit that's not open to the public, so we're, we're uh, especially honoured. Oh, there's another knock. Again. Yeah. Totally. Creaky stairs. It's in keeping with the building. Yeah, yeah. It's an old building. A lot of medals of various levels of Freemasonry go in there. This is where you'd get changed and such. Yeah, different lodges, isn't it? Yeah. Andrews, Coronation. Yeah. Ooh. Various. Amazing. Okay. Just 
just heard a little clicky noise there when I came in. Oh, hang on. Gavel. Bit of a mouldy loo. Again. Oh, Tony. Look at these. You know, they talk about symbolism and what have you. Have a look at these. Just come in. I'm going to pull a one of the, a two of these out. Move in. Isn't that amazing? Can you take your torch off, Ken? Yeah, go on. Just so that, you know, talk about symbol. Isn't that amazing? There's the all-seeing eye. And I can move that there. And the next one. And the last one, in fact. Look at that. It's like Egyptian hieroglyphics. It's exactly what it is. But you're going to that there. They argue that some of the Egyptians were some of the first Masons. Right. Well, yeah, and other people say don't. that it was aliens that helped them, you know, yeah, people from... Yeah. And look at this. And we know that it's, it's involved with religion and you've got a, a cross and mm -hmm. the various regalia and the crook, which is a religious symbol for gathering, you know, like gathering in the yeah. flock, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And... Uh, Amazing. That, I think, oh, if yeah. that was an album cover by Pink Floyd, you'd believe it, wouldn't you? Yeah. You really would believe it. Oh, it's tremendous. Oh, Let's go in the room. That's all. There's even more there. Look. Oh, like speaker, please. No, it's Doves of Peace. That one, there's, that one is, because it's carrying a, uh, one of the leaves. And then you've got... <laughs> Look at these, they're all completely different. But the room with the most activity is this one. And this is the Grand Lodge chamber itself. Absolutely amazing. The thing that I love, they've got these incredible pillars. You've got all the different lodges. Yeah. And it's this that I, I'm blown away by. Just the attention to detail, you know, the cross keys. Yeah. And then you've got the two arrow flights over here. The set square up on the, the Grand Marshes. Let me see if that's... Says anything up here? Presented to the coronation to the, oh, hang on. The glory of God in loving memory of a devoted wife and mother. This oak pan, uh, paneling and pedestal was presented to the coronation lodge from brother J.A. Hodgson. of lower stuff, all of this panning. Look at that. There's a incredible banner for St. Andrew's. I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm, you can't help yourself. It, and even just sitting in a, a place like this, you, you almost feel like you have some kind of power. King. Yeah, and a master. You do feel like that, don't you? Did you hear that? Well, what was that? I don't know. Did you hear it, Tony? Uh, yeah. I don't know where it came from. I thought it came from there. Just here? No, the centre of the... It's kind of that way. Did it come from your left? It sounded like away from me. It sounds closer to you, Kenny. Yeah? Is any of the carpet moving?
I don't know whether you guys heard that at home. Sometimes it's just worth sitting for a while, seeing if anything happens. If there's anything here that's aware of us, make a noise of any kind, any kind at all. Anything at all. There's a gadget over here that I noticed when I first came in and it's a ballot box where you put your hand in and inside, that was you. I'm sorry to be nosy, but Just drop my balls. I've got them all, don't worry. Yeah. And uh, I've just got a black ball. In fact, I've got two, so I'm one short. I'll, I'll put them back. And you close that. You hide that in there when you have a vote. What? I'm just, I'm just kind of flicked on a comment by of Rob. Tony, there's a human skull in a white bag under that wooden podium on the right. Under the wooden podium? Which wooden podium? The one that you were sitting next to. Really? That's here. Where? A skull. Under the wooden podium. On here. To the right. So which one? I don't know where I was when that was used. Which one's the podium? Oh, the white thingy. The white. There's no skull there. It's in a white bag. The white bag. Go for it. What's in it? Is there another podium? That's on the left, though, isn't it? How's the Lola? It's on the right, so. How's the Lola? Mom's been here. It's always good to know. Was that not you? There's nothing under here. Other side. Oh, right. Yeah, there is. Dig it out. Oh, my God, there is. A skull. A skull. Hang on, that's my territory. I know you, you go, you're windy about touching stuff no, like no, this. No, you all right? Fine, but oh, my God. This is a real person. That is definitely a real person. That's somebody who was probably a member here, do you think? Oh, he said it's a prisoner. Why would a prisoner be here? Well, maybe he was judged here. Pull it up, Kenny, lift it. Oh, my God. Who said that, Mark? No, it's Rob. Oh, Rob. Rob's been, been, here Rob been here before. Oh, told me about this place. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Actual real person. Oh my god. That is a real skull. The jaw's been weighed. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of that and be walk up after this um, posting. Oh my god. 
be interesting to know how he died. Probably hanged. And two of his bones. Looks like it's a thigh bone, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That makes me feel a bit sick. Imagine how he feels. <laughs> he ain't got nobody. What do you th- what do you think of it so far? <laughs> Bless him. Thank you very much. You didn't talk about that downstairs. No. And if there's any hint of you being around here, we give you love. We wish you well on your journey. And we thank you. Skull, yeah. yeah, you can tell. You, 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 you can, can tell. you can see that there's a yeah. almost like carved wood, but that's real. Yeah. Skull, but you see what what it actually is. If you think about it, it's a skull and crossbones. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But uh, touch that and tell me what you feel. Put your hand on it. You got anything at all? It's like tingly. Why is that? Why is that then? Come on, why is that? I don't know. It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is that what you got? Or yeah, it's exactly what I got. Why is that then? It's cold, but there's just a... Oh, yeah, there's a touch of like... Just movement. a hit of vibrations. Yeah. Just a... It really is. I know. Why are these jaws so you can make him talk? Well, we don't want to make him talk. He's dead. He's moved on. This is just the husk of a human... Yeah, we could try that. You've got to remember that, and I know I was once doing a television thing and I found a man who had his head nailed to a floor and through his eyes there was two nails. And this was in Hunedwara Castle in Transylvania. And I put my hand in the coffin that he was in Mm -hmm. and I put my hand on his skull, similar to that. And a lot of people, did you hear that? Or was that, was that? And uh, a lot of people complain. American TV. A lot of people complained, saying it was disrespectful and all this kind of stuff. And the truth is, no, it wasn't. No. Um, because this is like you're touching the car that somebody once drove around in, but they're not in it anymore. Yeah. They've gone. They've moved on. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to leave this here facing the room. I need to get a battery for the camera because it's about to run out. Okay, spread it out. Oh my god, it is. Look. Look. Coffin. Yeah, spread it out. So that went over a coffin. Now you've got to remember a skull and crossbones, in historical terms, Mm -hmm. wasn't always piratical. No. Some people said it was the Scots, so they, they would put that down. Others, what, the hell? what was Where's that? Tony? Tony's not there. Eh? Do you not hear them noises there? Yeah. There? And it's over there. If there's anyone here, is, if there's anyone here, make a noise. And that was huge. That was massive. I know Tony's gone downstairs. Could it have been him? It sounded like it was in that corner. Just heard a bang in that corner, Tony. No one said it, please. Your battery's up here. That's why your battery's gone, mate. Uh, you don't have a spare, right? You didn't talk about the school, did <clears throat> Kenny, why don't you... I'll come and do the show from the coffin. Why don't we come and place the skull and crossbones? Treat this guy. Now, this guy was possibly an evil person, because let's face it, they tended to execute people who had had committed some kind of crime. Set him out. Carrying out a ritual. Place it. Be gentle with him. I'll be gentle. 
Thank you. I keep hearing that corner though. Kenny, I know they're fake, yeah. but plant them over the real ones. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And I know it'll be hanging up, but that's... Yeah. Let's see if we can find... Just we keep getting that noise in the top corner. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I said it. Do you? Is it just because there's a dead man's head on the carpet? Is there anyone here? No. Go. In here, apart from this. I don't wish to stop. It's ceremonial. Do you hear that? Footsteps over the far side. It's always been that corner. We've placed out a ceremonial robe for a coffin with the human skull of one of our brothers. A man who died of a crime that he may or may not have committed. Was that you, Tony? I'm just changing the battery because one died. It was like a clangy noise. Let's put this on. Oh. Was the man guilty? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What cost him his life? The jumble, there's all kinds in here. That was quite loud. What was it? I, I've got this on right close. What was it? Oh. Do you hear that? Like moving furniture. Hang on, I've got to switch this up. Let me just... I was hearing footsteps, footsteps the there, and then I heard dragging furniture. I that was home. Sure. Oh, I hope so. I just I had the necromancer on really loud, those the thing. Sometimes it's just best to... 
I heard that too. Push the seat down, see what noise it makes. Yes, that was the noise. Yeah. Now to me that was that was still there. Where did you think you heard it from? We've got amazing little bits that I don't know whether you guys at home had noticed, but even just on the Masonic Accoutrement, do you see the planet? You see, almost based on ancient Rome, the columns and planet Earth, where masonry is on every continent. Just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I've had some, yes. Do we leave this here for the night? And then come back? Yeah. If there's anything here, make a noise. Come on, you've shown us before. We heard banging and clanging. That was weird. Come here, Kenny. It almost felt when I walked over it like somebody was clutching your ankle. Stand on it. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's odd. Right. I'm in the corner where the noises were. While I'm here, make a noise. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah. Come on. Oh, how on, they've got names on. In memory of Brother N.A. Beck. And I'm next door to Brother Vickery's chair. I don't know whether that has any bearing. Do you hear that? Again. Like a clang. Come on, make a noise of any kind. Come on. Old buildings are always going to make noises, but you've got to discount the 95% as always. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm getting like a, almost like a foot. Yeah. And it's coming from that pillion. Right. We got two there. Yeah. That's random. Take a seat, Kenny. Try taking a seat at the. Just listen. Just listen. There's a body on the floor. There's a human skull. You're ready to go on your own. Yeah. Just straight by the iron's hot, really. Kenny, can you bring the rods as well? Are they down there, rods? They're down where my case is, just on the table. Where? Into the room? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Get a bit of reassurance of him. <laughs> Kenny's beginning to feel it. He's already feeling sick. I'm feeling drained. Do you know what I mean? Presuming that's Kenny. Yeah. And let's see who I'm sitting on. Brother Tilly's chair. Right. Did you hear that, Tony? Just like. Well, you see, if I do this, just trying to replicate. When I sat down, there was like a crunch noise. But then I heard a few bangs from over the left-hand side. Probably about eight feet from where I'm sitting. If there's anyone here, just make a noise, any kind of noise. Any kind of noise at all. Sounds like somebody's walking. Are you hearing that? Oh, that could be Kenny. Yeah, here he comes. See them, Kenny, can you change the bones around in the opposite direction? Sure. Take the bottom one and put... Look at the picture the and... Wow, what a time. What a time to do it. We're getting footsteps in here. Come on, if there's anything here, light the ball. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Just been hearing footsteps and bangs in here. Yeah. yeah. Light them up. It's funny because, Kenny, when you're walking on the carpet, you can't hear a thing, and yet I've heard footsteps. Yeah. Now, it's time for us to split the screen, which means this is the first half coming to an end. Now, the second half is for our supporters only. So if you would like to be a supporter, and it's less than a pound a week, and you get years worth of shows, and all the extra little bits of blah and daftness that we do, and all of the pictures of spirit that people have captured themselves, how do they become a supporter then, Tony? Well, if you're on Facebook, just hit the link in the video description, become a supporter, and part two will be available. And on YouTube, join the channel, and the same, you'll see all the extra support us content there. Now, Facebook's messing things about for a lot of you with Amazon sticks and what have you, and they're saying we're not going to run that anymore, so you can't bounce it up to your TV. 
there is a possibility that we could move completely onto Facebook and onto YouTube. Well, we can do the supporters only on YouTube. And um, then, then every time you'd get it, and just get a link. Even and if you're on Facebook, we just send you a link on, on on Facebook. What was that? Did you hear that sliding noise, Kenny? Uh, that way you can play on piano. Really? But anyway, however you find us, join, be part of the throng. We're building up a community now. And yesterday we uh, had a gathering. We'll have more gatherings. And it was just great to get, it's like getting the band back together. It's tremendous. Come and join us, become a supporter. Noise is off again. We're just starting to get stuff. Going to do some runs in a moment. I hope you'll join us for part two. If not, thank you very much for being with us for the short time you have. We appreciate your company. And until next time, farewell. For the rest of you, let's get down to business. And uh, Kenny, when you walked there, that set the ball off. Yes, do that. That's a good idea.